Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's River Plate and they face Boca Juniors. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got first leg action coming up from the Conmebol Libertadores round of 16. It's River Plate, and they take on Boca Juniors. Well, Derek, first legs can often be tight affairs, but I'm expecting a fairly open game here. Both sides will want to take a lead going into that second leg. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's had a great competition so far. His finishing has been so clinical, and these defenders just can't afford to give him any sort of space in the box. Otherwise, they'll be punished. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, they play with a diamond in midfield, which makes the role of the holding midfield player so important. Is he there to dictate the play with his passing or be a defensive screen? I'd hope he could do both jobs. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre-forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the match is underway. Now, let's see what they can do here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And slipped through beautifully. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, good hands there from the keeper. And a fine tackle. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Chance here. Brilliant save. Well, they couldn't keep it. Milton Casco. Benedetto. And he could really get at the opposition. Able to skip past his man. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that?
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Diaz. Alvarez. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And up for grabs off the keeper. Oh, a smart stop. A danger here as he runs at them. And that will be a corner. Now sending it in. It didn't happen for them. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Martinez. Diaz. Pintero on the ball. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Gonzalez. Villa. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Can he put it in? He got a good palm on it. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Can they hit on the break? Really nice ball. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Suarez Enzo Perez and that's a well-timed pass and the ruling is offside here Luis Advincula. They've regained possession. Campuzano. Villa. Well, 
Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. It is a decent looking attack here. Benedetto. This looks interesting. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Villa. Well, nicely cut out. Well, making high pressing work for them here. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Juan Quintero. Well, the attack just lost its momentum and the keeper will collect. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Benedetto. And it's a quality pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. Good pressure high up the pitch. Martinez Diaz losing possession and good use of advantage the referee allowing play to continue breaking at pace on and on he goes Enzo Perez Suarez and prevailing here is Marcos Rojo Diego Gonzalez he's got the right idea with that pass well the goal was at his mercy well it certainly was he has to score there and the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. Diaz. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And fed forwards. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Milton Casco. Now can they be creative from here? And let's give credit to the defending. What can they do from here? Nicolas de la Cruz. And threading it forward. Oh, it's gone in! A 
significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. Well, here's the replay, and there's an obvious deflection. Certainly enough to beat the keeper. He got a bit lucky there. So, 2-0 now. Dario Benedetto, not a good pass. Enzo Perez, well, they no longer have the ball. Romero, good technique displayed. It's an opportunity, a goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, making the substitution now. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And into the last 15 minutes of action. Paulo Diaz. Martinez. Moving it forward. Gomez. Alvarez. And they deal with the threat this time. And unable to keep the ball. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit and trying to get them over the finish line. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position, only just. Oscar Romero, Villa, they are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side, he's missed the chance and they're still behind Stuart. Well you always hope for one more big chance in a game and that was it, not sure they'll get another now. Well they've decided to make a change. Pressing high to win the ball. Pavon takes the shot. Able to get a body in the way. An incisive pass. And how about that for a save? Alvarez. On to Suarez. Intercepting it intelligently. Here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Options in the middle. Oh, the threat is there. This could level it. Oh, he 
couldn't finish at such an important juncture of the game as well. Well, that's a big opportunity missed. And you have to question whether they'll get another. Time very much ebbing away now. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Paravasino. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And there it is, the referee blows for full time. And my goodness, no wonder these home fans are ecstatic. Still, there is a job to do, but they must fancy their chances based on this performance. Yeah, they just about edged it for me. But if the first 90 minutes is anything to go by, this tie is far from over. Really looking forward to round two now, Derek. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.